This month, you can win a set of Tactic LED headlights by subscribing to the Quadra Tech YouTube channel and leaving a comment down below. Hey, Rob here for Quadra Tech out here, Easter Jeep Safari 2023, checking out the seven brand new concepts from Jeep. I've got one of them right here behind me, Magneto 3.0, the third generation of Magneto. I just got back from taking it for a drive, and I have to tell you, this thing and it puts a smile on your face. Now, if you guys wanna check out my full coverage of all the concepts from this year, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. I'm gonna have an in-depth review on each one of the concepts, some of which are right back there behind me. And of course, head over to the Torque blog at quadratech.com for more coverage of all the concepts, as well as all of our social media channels. For now, why don't we go ahead and dive into Magneto 3.0. Come on, follow me along. I'll give you a quick little tour of this thing. As you can see, it's kind of morphed again from last year. It's evolved and some things have been changed. The power has been upped a little more. It's gotten a little more efficient. And of course, right up front, one of the biggest visual cues here, we've got that new 20th anniversary Rubicon grill morphed onto the front here. If we move our way around the Jeep, we've got a new Magneto 3.0 logo on here. Of course, we've got that see-through hood up there showcasing that electric power plant. And one of the things that uh, Mark Allen was telling us about the changes that they've made here, they actually chopped the top on Magneto 3.0 this year and raked the windshield back to give it a more sporty look. I think it looks great. Definitely gives it a very aggressive look. And they opened up the door even more. In fact, I think it was about five more inches they've opened up this door. So it really does give it a great open feel. One of the things I, I felt and enjoyed while driving this was that, you know, it kind of brought back memories of cruising around in an old CJ5 with that slant back door opening there. And uh, just another kind of nod to the past that I really liked. Um, inside, they made some changes. I love this kind of cue ball shift knob up there. It is mated still to a manual transmission, which is fantastic to drive. But I gotta tell you, you gotta kind of rewire yourself a little bit to drive a manual mated to the electric because you can't stall it. In fact, you push the clutch in to start it, put it in gear, and then just let off the clutch. It doesn't do anything until you press the gas pedal to go. And then as you're slowing up, well, you just kind of let up and let it slow to a stop. In fact, I put it into first gear as we were coming down a little decline and actually had to give it gas to continue down the hill. That's how much regen is kind of behind it as you're going down a hill. Gives you a ton of control. I can't imagine taking this thing down and maybe back up Wipeout Hill would be so much fun with the amount of power behind this thing. Speaking of power, one of the switches up on the dash, coming close, I'll show you here. We've got some switches right up here. We've got air, a one pedal control, max power and hill descent. Well, that max power switch in the down position, it's gonna function just like the stock 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 that came out of this when it left the factory originally with 285 horsepower. You flip that up into max power, you've got over 600 horsepower at the touch of your right foot to power this thing through just about anything on the trail, a ton of fun. As you move around through the back, you can see we've got a new paint scheme here to Magneto 3.0, which looks fantastic. Uh, again, with this slant back design, I love the, the fun little stickers and, and little Easter eggs hidden on Magneto 3.0 here. The Jeep logo from the Gladiator there. Overall, my impressions of Magneto 3.0 looks, drives, great. It's so much fun. Uh, you know, I don't know how much else I can say about this thing other than, uh, you know, if, if one of these comes out, I'll definitely want one of these in my garage, that's for sure. So that's my quick, uh, what, two, three minute walk around of Magneto 3.0 here at Easter Jeep Safari 2023. Again, make sure you guys are stay tuned for more coverage. I'm going to have a walk around of all the concepts and on our YouTube channel. So make sure you are subscribed to youtube.com slash quadratech. Of course, make sure you're following us over on the Torque blog as well as all of our other social media channels. For now, we're going to go check out a few more concepts. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail.